Today I'd like to introduce our bale shear for 2023 and I'll talk you through a few of the key points of our machine. To start with, we're using stone fork pines which are integrated into heavy duty bushing. We're using heavy wall box section with a 10mm wear plate underneath. The main frame in the machine is also 10mm plating which is all laser cut a nice profile edge it always around. We're using a heavy duty 120mm barrel ram with a 50mm rod in it. All our pins are 32mm C series hardened pins and are all greasable. We're using well done serrated teeth to a 20mm plate. That plate is a tangent to the main hinge point of the machine, which allows an easier cut through your bale. At the rear of the machine is our hydraulics, which are neatly tucked away. We start with an equalizer valve, which allows an equal amount of oil to float each cylinder. The reason for this, if the machine was off center to the bale and was cutting on one side of the bale, it doesn't allow extra oil flow to either a ram, that's allowing still an even cut throughout the bale. Also there's a sequence valve fitted to it, so once the operator starts cutting with his machine, it allows oil sent out to your hydraulic cylinder, which are plastic and net catcher. Next would be our film catcher, I suppose the most important part of the machine. Uh, we have that also set at a 10 degree slope to the rear of the machine. The idea of that is on a, a flattened out bale, when you approach it with your bale shear, it helps follow the angle of the bale, just allowing the claws to get a full grip into the plastic and netting. The orientation of these hooks in, they travel from the right hand side to the left hand side, ensuring a full grip on the plastic and netting. The idea of, from left to right is that it catches the strength of the net ensuring that once the bale is split, you've retained your plastic and knitting. Every part of the machine then is shot blasted. It's two coats of primer and two coats of top paint. On this side of the machine then you can see all the reinforcing where the pressure pints are needed. And again, we'll do a quick demonstration of the bale here walking there in a moment.